Hello. So we have a problem where um, things are moving from one location, or things are taking different paths from one location to another. And this this thing says, calculate the work done by gravity as a 2.6 kilogram object is moved from point A to point B in this figure along the paths 1, 2, and 3. So point A is right here, and point B is right here. So let me let me let me draw this a little bit. Let me, let me make it bigger. So okay, maybe maybe I'll use this color because this is darker. So that's point A. That's point B. So that's point B, and this is point A. So you're moving from here to here, taking uh, this red path this blue path and this orange path and one thing to notice is that this starts from the same spot and um, ends in the same spot okay and let's take note that this is moving that the net direction from A to B is that the the um, the upward net direction I mean or the vertical net direction is upward because because it ends because it ends on a higher point right and and let's say the total distance upward is two meters because it's from here to here okay well knowing that um, let's see what we can do with it well what do, what do we know about relationship of work well what do we know work is well work is simply distance or force times distance right well What's the force here? Well, we don't know yet, but what, what, is, what is force? Well, force, we can say, fo we know that force equals mass times acceleration, right? So, knowing that, we, we, we can say that work is equal to mass times acceleration, because that's force times distance, okay? So, going back to this um, diagram and the, the question, do we know anything here? Well, we know we know that mass is 2.6 kilograms, noted by this red thing here, uh, which is different for you probably. And acceleration is just gravity, so it says it's going to be 9.8. And distance is from a the vertical because it's um, because gravity only works vertically, um, so we we just take account of the vertical thingy. So the distance is just two meters because it's from here to here, from from here to here is same thing as from here to here. So it just vertical is just two meters, so it's gonna be two here. And if you just um, multiply this out, you get times nine point eight times two is equal to fifty point nine six joules. But which way is, is uh, gravity um, working? Well, gravity works downward, right? What is what is the motion? Well, the net direction or the motion is upward, right? It's upward. So since gravity is the opposite direction of the net direction or motion, this is going to be negative. So the answer is negative 50.96 joules for all three of them because they all start on the same spot and end on the same spot. So, so um, the logic is that the net work done by the three directions that they traveled in must be the same.